What is going on, child? Is your most, just your most favorite diabetic YouTuber in the whole entire world. Back with another video. Not today. I do have another reaction reel for y'all. But of course, this one is a little bit different. Now, this one's only a little bit different because, I'll be honest, I am a day one Dolphins fan. I am from Pittsburgh, of course, but I am a day one Dolphins fan. I was there when we were trying to tank for Tua, even though we didn't end up with the number one overall pick. We still ended up with Tua, and God, am I a Tua fan. I'm a Tua stan. Now, I'll be honest again, he is supposed to come back Sunday. Well, the Sunday as I'm making this. And I will be honest, I don't think he really should. And I know it sounds stingy because I really know he would come and, like, make the Dolphins get close to a chip. I don't know if we're going to chip, but, you know, like, it's just so damn close with him because we can't function without him. But yeah, I'm kind of scared. But I seen this video and I figured let's check it out. Now it's not that long, so shout out to NBC News for the video we are react to. Of course, go check out the channel, go subscribe, go like the video, go do all the goodness, of course. But after that, I am gonna rant a little about why I love him, but he really shouldn't come back. But with that said, let's get into the video and see what it's gotta say. Alright, child, no more hesitation. Let's get into the video now. Since his third confirmed NFL concussion tonight, Miami Dolphins quarterback <clears throat> to a tongue of is preparing to suit up and play on Sunday. Tua met with a litany, a laundry list, a long list of medical experts, and zero of them recommended that he shouldn't play football. The latest in a series of scary hits for Tunga Vailoa prompted some to call for the 26-year-old's retirement. But earlier this week, Tunga Vailoa told reporters he did not consider those pleas. I appreciate your concern. I really do. Um... I love this game, and I love it to the death of me. The football star mm. also says he will not wear a guardian cap. The helmet I don't like that he worded it that way. And meant to provide extra protection. Like, personal choice. The NFL's top tongue doctor type says Tunga nah, Bailoa would gain minimal benefit because he wears a specific type of newer, more protective helmet. We don't have guidelines that are rigidly structured around numbers Did he have that helmet on and, and participation in sport. Previous you one? recognize you have to individualize these treatment recommendations, just like we do in other areas of medicine. But Harvard researcher Dr. Dan Danishvar says research does point to potential future consequences. If you've had a concussion, you're higher risk of a future concussion. That doctor also helped publish new research this week saying that when people shake their heads after a hit to the head, they may be showing a sign of concussion. The NFL's top doctor tells me the shake league will head. review its own data to see if it can replicate uh, results. Lester? I mean, I guess that would. God, Lester's leaving him hanging. He's still... I know you can't see him, but he's still getting... <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Damn, Lester left him hanging for about like 20 minutes there. It's a cool world we live in. Damn, Lester, you bastard. But anyways, yeah, I get understand that he loves the sport. Shit, I would too. But at the same time, he has a kid and family. And I feel like he made enough money to live happy. Now, now of course, he's going to do what he wants. He's a grown-ass man. And whatever he chooses, I, I I can't be mad. Like, if you want to go out there and win my favorite team some games and possibly take us to the Super Bowl and win that shit, yeah, I'm all for it. You know, make me a little happy. Make me have something to rub in people's faces. You know, I'm all for it. But at the same time, I just don't think it's worth it as a fan aspect, as a human aspect, to go literally put your body on the line to the point where one more, and it literally could be anything terrible like i hate saying that out loud but it could be anything terrible and i just don't think that shit's worth it especially since you got millions you chilling your generational wealth and of course you can still invest that shit and make more money and of course maybe even coach maybe they got somewhere on the team for you like i don't know there's many possibilities but at the same time being 26 not able to play the same sport play the sport you love with all this free time and millions of dollars, that shit could go south real bad. So, he, uh, you know, maybe he's deciding to play the sport so he doesn't go crazy and then go off the rocker and then starts going all her Aaron Hernandez on his bitch. Like, you know, maybe he doesn't want to go crazy. But at the same time, I don't want him to go crazy 
because he's getting too many damn injuries or I don't want anything else. You know what I mean? Like, I think he should just take a chill pill. But on the bright side, I will just say that since he is coming back and he ha I have no damn say in any of this, even though I really don't think he should come back, I think he should retire or at least sit out. Nah, I won't even say just sit out. Just I think he should just retire, honestly, for his safety, health, and his family's like just everything. Just for God's sake, I would. But on the hypothetical situation, me being Dolphins fan, this is all I'm gonna say is what if he takes us slash when he takes us to the Super Bowl this season or this year or next year? I don't really know what the timing is, but when he takes us to the damn Super Bowl, what if we win that bit and then he retires? You get us a Super Bowl, you get a Super Bowl under your chin, you retire, we all live happy. You are still a millionaire, and you get to live a little, I mean, yeah, you already got a couple concussions under you, but, like, you don't get anything worse. And, you know, it's a win-win, and that's the scenario I'm hoping for, slash, see, would like to see, and not even as a Dolphins fan, just, you know, hypothetical-wise. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section down below. Also, in the comments, comment your boy make and make all kinds of new videos. So comment what you want to see. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for the video.